Hi there and welcome to a third video demonstration on proportional modifier setup that we have applied on our character Pogo. Now proportional modifier setup will allow the animators to change the proportion of the character therefore changing the look and the appearance of the character so that we can go ahead and make multiple unlimited number of variation out of the same rig. Uh, on the other hand this controls the proportional modifier controls will also allow the animators to make fine-tune adjustment in their character animation uh, to fix the deformation or to create a better silhouette All right now let's go over it let me just go ahead and start posing this character a little bit so let me just go ahead and change the outline of this character if the animator wants a little uh, bigger hips uh, he can do that so you can just you just need simply needs to pull these controllers these secondary proportional controllers and you can see that it works uh, based on symmetry and you can just go ahead and change the overall look and feel of the character so if you want to make pogo a little bit more fat you can go ahead and do that uh, you can change the outline there as well make it really stylized if you want to make uh, pogo more thinner you can do that as well, right? Even make the changes on the leg. Basically, the idea here is the rig that is featured is the same rig, and you now have these control setups for JSON in different parts of the geometry, which allows the animators to change the shape and the look and the feel. So if you want to make the foot a little bit bigger, that can be done as well. So there you go. Right. So in the same way, we can go ahead and change the proportion for the arms if needed. So if you want to make the character look like the good old Popeye the Sailor Man, it can be done as well. So you can see how this controller works. Based on symmetry, you can basically turn it on or off depending on the necessity. Also, you can change the actual position of the joints. So, meaning you can go ahead and start putting, uh, placing the legs to be a little bit lower or higher. Right? You could uh, increase the or decrease the length and the position of the chest. And same thing goes with all of the body parts there. So if I wanted, I could just go ahead and change the position of the ankle as well. And also make these uh, changes in the overall model if necessary. And you can see how it's all going to work uh, seamlessly inside of our rig. Alright, no matter what. So you can go ahead and start animating this character and would like to create certain variation on this model that can be easily achieved. Alright, so same thing goes with these finger controllers that we have implemented on this rig. So if I wanted, I could increase the length of the finger, right? Uh, I could actually go ahead and change the overall position as well. And you can still go ahead and animate these. So let's take a look at the face as well. So I'm going to give Mr. Bogo some expression here. Let's go ahead and change the proportion of the head as well. So I would like to change him, change the overall size of the skull, or make it tapered. Okay, so you can do that. See, see how everything follows the movement as well. All right, so there you go. If I want, I could just change the position of the ear as well. There you go. Right, and let's make him look like an alien. Wider jaw, lower, smaller jaw. Maybe bring out the forehead. Not much, but just a slight bit. Right, you could even change the position of the mouth and uh, change the overall look and feel of the nose. I'm gonna make it look really small. And therefore, we have a completely different looking character here. All right? Of course, you can go ahead and uh, basically scale the entire head around. Everything will follow along. All right? You could also scale these controls here on the body. 
to make all the necessary changes. So what we have here is a very flexible and a versatile rig, a single rig that can reproduce or produce multiple variation of the same rig. There you have it. Same rig, multiple variation based on the proportional modifier setup. So thank you for your time.